This is a pretty large meteorite slice from my collection, and it may be the ugliest one I have, but it is pretty scientifically interesting. Let's learn a little bit more about the Al Hagunia meteorite. The Al Hagunia 1 meteorite was discovered in a dry lake bed in Western Sahara around 2006, but it's been on Earth a lot longer. Some estimates put it here somewhere between 20,000 and 25,000 years ago, which would have been before the Western Sahara was actually a desert. This meteorite is classified as an EL melt rock, so an instatite chondrite, and it's actually been reclassified at one point as we learn more about different types of meteorites. Classifications can evolve, and this is certainly one of those stones that there's been some level of debate over. Now, when I say instatite, we're talking about a peroxine, magnesium silicate here, with very low iron content. So this meteorite has a lot less metal than many of the other meteorites that I've shown you, and even when looking at it here close up, it's hard to visually distinguish any free metal in the stone itself. So where did this meteorite come from? Well, we don't totally know, but we do know that it probably formed in a low oxygen environment, which probably means it was formed somewhere around the interior part of the solar system. So probably an asteroid that was formed in low oxygen conditions, or maybe even something kind of like Mercury. It has characteristics of Mercury, so it may have formed in similar conditions, although we don't have enough information to know if it's actually from Mercury itself. Now this meteorite isn't quite as visually striking as many of the other meteorites I've shown you on this channel. When it's sitting on my shelf, it's not one that people are immediately drawn to, although it is significantly different from all the other meteorites I have. So it does have that going forward. And I think there's some value in it being visually unique in that way. It is highly weathered. It's been on Earth for over 20,000 years sitting in a lake bed. So you can expect some of that age. I don't think I would look nearly that good at 20,000 years old. So it's a neat addition to my collection. It's the only instatite chondrite of this nature that I have. And the scientific significance is very neat. There's maybe a lot more that we'll learn about this one over time. Speaking about learning more stuff over time, watch this channel. You're going to learn more stuff over time. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, a lot more cool things to share with you as we keep learning about space together.